Today's Morning Minute, kingdom living is speaking, is speaking life. God spoke creation into existence. God said, God said, God said, God said, God said, God said. God said, and then God said, let us make man in our image, in our likeness, our likeness, and let them rule over the fish of the sea and the birds of the air, over the livestock, over all the earth, and over all the creatures that move along the ground. The tongue, the tongue in Proverbs 18, 20, the tongue has the power of life and death, and those who love it will eat, eat its fruit. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but what has he given us? But of power, a power of life to speak to dry bones. Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. Life is in Christ Jesus. Speak, speak the life-giving power of the word of God. It gives life to dry bones. Then he said to me, put your name here, put your name. He said to me, Glenn, prophesy, speak to these bones and say to them, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. This is what the sovereign Lord says to these bones. I will make breath, I will make breath, life-giving spirit enter you and you will come to life. I will attach tendons to you and make flesh come from come upon you and cover you with skin. I will put breath, I'll put breath in you and you will come to life. Then you will know, then you'll know I am the Lord. So I prophesied, spoke, and as I commanded and as I was prophesying, speaking, there was a noise, a rattling sound, and the bones came together and bone to bone. I looked and the tendons and the flesh appeared on them and the skin covered them, but there was no breath in them. Then he said to me, put your, and put your name here, Glenn, prophesy to the breath, prophesy son of, son of man, Glenn, and say to it, this is what the sovereign Lord says, come from the four winds of breath and breathe into these slain and they may live. So I, Glenn, prophesied as he commanded me, and breath entered them. They came to life and stood up on their feet. A vast army. Ezekiel chapter 37, 4 to 10. This is a lot of noise until the life-giving spirit is breathed into a nation, into a nation, community, families, lives and the body of Christ. The noise is bones rattling around until the breath of life enters them. Go, go and speak the word of life to the dry bones around you. The dry bones will come to life. They'll stand up and their feet and form on their feet and form a vast army in the kingdom of God. Go today and speak life giving words everywhere you go. Amen and amen.